Alright guys, welcome back to another M Crater lore video. So today what we're going to be doing is making a volcanic biome. This was actually suggested in the comments to create a um, biome based on the basalt. I can't remember who exactly suggested it, but um, they did uh, it's not my original idea or anything like that, and I want to eventually add more variations of this particular biome, maybe even make it so it's connected to the uh, each other in different kind of layers, so maybe it gets more dense and stuff, but uh, I wanted to just kind of see what it would look like today, and then we can always branch on to different sub-biomes and stuff like that later on. But uh, the important thing is to get all the properties set up today. So um, outside of that, uh, it's obviously a vic. I can't speak today. Um, a volcanic biome. So uh, basalt is actually a volcanic um, mineral. I don't know if it's really a mineral. It might be just a uh, rock or something like that. But and then uh, basically what happens is basalt is created when volcanic magma I think is cooled in a certain way I can't remember exactly um, but there's certain uh, it is volcanic though for sure that much I do know and having creating some structures and you know tweaking it a little bit I think we can actually get a pretty interesting system set up for uh, a biome that can basically generate anywhere in the world um, on the mainland so uh, basically what I've been doing is just setting the properties of the biome for the uh, custom dimension. So basically this is the biome and I'm just working on getting the uh, settings all set up so we can basically test that. Now once this part is done I've basically been using the other biomes as a reference point. So I can basically set the settings based on that. So I've just been tweaking them a little bit. And then I noticed I was accidentally changing all the settings from the other biomes. So eventually I just closed those without saving it. So it wouldn't save the changes that I made accidentally. So <laughs> it's one of the things that you have to be really careful about with having multiple tabs up at a time is sometimes you end up um overriding things and you question why things aren't generating like they used to and uh yeah i'm glad i caught that um before any critical stuff changed but as you can see i closed out of the windows and i was just updating the values that i was setting before i got rid of the a uh, couple things here um i was just going through the features for the actual element and or for the biome and I originally kept ore, but I'm almost questioning if we should keep the ore in there because I noticed that later on uh, while I was in spectator mode that there's a lot of vanilla ore generating. So I might have to remove the ore. I don't know if, if it will have any major impact on our dimension at all, like for ore generation or anything like that. But um, if we were using features, I can't imagine it would... So it would probably just be, um, we would have to add the ore generation manually, which could work, I guess. Especially with what I'm trying to go for the, the dimension. I want it completely separate from the actual game. So I have more control over the economy and the total ecosystem of the game. So it's basically like a game inside of a game. Um, and I still haven't caught like a plot line planned out or anything like that but right now I have the inventory separated and everything like that so when a player enters the dimension their inventory on the previous world is saved and eventually when they go back they'll switch inventories again from the inventory from this mod to a different uh, dimension so to the overworld so that will hopefully be a little bit more uh, I, I notice a lot of people are like asking, but isn't there basalt already in the game? And yes, there is, but it's a vanilla block and I don't have much control over the actual generation. So once I created all the, the biome properties, I needed to go ahead and create the actual uh, features for it. So this is one of the things that I needed to end up doing for the 
mod itself. So uh, one of the things that I needed to do was come up with some ideas for that, for some structures that we would end up generating. So I was thinking kind of like a large um, pillar uh, for the generation would be kind of interesting. So maybe like um, rounded bottom of the structure. That way, if it's a little bit floating above, it won't look uh, so terrible. And I'll kind of blend with the structure a little bit. Like having rend uh, rounded edges can sometimes help with that. So that's basically what I was doing over on that part. And then I just wanted to kind of fill in a cylinder, um, kind of like a cone shape. Uh, like a teardrop kind of right so I was going to go up a little bit more and then I would slowly branch into the actual part here so I was filling this part in uh, just because I didn't want this whole entire bottom to be full of lava now I am going to be filling this in with lava because it is a volcanic biome and it would make sense to have lava inside of these uh, in some inside of some of these structures uh, some of them I didn't fully encased in lava, but um, there are some particular ones that I wanted to generate with some lower uh, lava sources. Now I could have gone with um, with water or, well not water, but like custom uh, fluids, but the problem with that is there's already lava and water in this particular biome. I don't think there's any particular way to disable the lava specifically because lava lakes still generate regardless if there is a feature enabled for it or not so they can still technically obtain lava unfortunately but um, we can probably integrate that somehow into the mod for itself now I, I don't know how to get rid of it i haven't really figured that out uh, there might be some custom configuration i can do for the data pack because all mods are basically data packs so i could maybe check this, the settings and see if there's something enabled that i can disable or something like that but um I uh, that would require me to lock the code and it would just be really hard to develop so maybe towards the end i might end up throwing that into the mod but I need to um, fill this in for sure and it's a little bit harder to do because um, of the angle there but um, what I ended up doing was just filling the area in I selected the corners and then I placed some on the sides and then I was able to kind of fill in the parts that I missed for the um, center there. So that's basically what I did with fill command just so it was a little bit easier to um, do. So I ended up adding a lake, a um, couple pillars. One is has lava, one doesn't. And I also added like a large basalt boulder uh, type thing as well. So I needed to add all the structure voids for the structures because I didn't want them to replace all the train around them with um, air blocks so I needed to fill all these areas in where there was um, air with structure voids and that will allow the blocks around the structure to take priority so yeah that's basically what I worked on and I needed to get up all the way on these particular structures and go ahead and um, just use the fill command for placing the structure voids and before I actually run the command I remove the the two blocks that I um, basically uh, make the marker with and then I can fill in the command w without needing to worry about uh, placing or missing any particular parts so yeah that's basically that it's just a technique that um, you can use when you're working with a thing I usually just go to the top part and just go to the edge set the position using the tab button and then select structure void and then replace air because you don't really want to just replace it all with the structure void that would remove the entire structure so replacing it with the air is really important all right so this is the last structure this is the sphere that i created so there was uh four structures in total though i'm not entirely sure if i want to go back and try um improving some of the structures like maybe having some different more variants would be nice and 
maybe even better. So we might go back and revamp this uh, later on. And again, like I said, I wanted to expand the idea a little bit more and add different biomes, biome layers for the actual dimension as well. So basically, rather than have just a single um, part, I wanted to kind of make it so it was a little bit more um, different, like there's different variations of the biome that could generate but I need to come up with a system where it will be actually designed for a specific location and that I need to kind of look into the settings and stuff I wasn't fully prepared when I made this uh, recording for today for getting all the dimension properties set up so I needed to re I need to review the actual code and stuff like that before like the uh, settings for the generation type I know there's Continentalis, uh, which will basically allow you to generate biomes within um, how far away from the sea. So we could do something like that, but that wouldn't really work per se because um, it would uh, require a little bit more um, uh, configuration for the actual biome itself. So like, for example, it would just be towards the ocean where the biome would generate now. And that's not exactly what I want to do I want to kind of ring around the biome so I don't know if there's a setting that I can go ahead and do that maybe height maps or something like that that might be an option because height maps are like for the terrain height uh, that might help with a certain part but I, I will have to look into the settings and see what we got for um, configuration we might be able to work within some of the parameters that we do have to make kind of like that work but I need to um, double check the settings and everything like that. Uh, it's a project for another day. But um, the important thing is to get it in. And uh, right now I'm just adding the features. And I needed to create um, a couple different levels of them. So what I ended up doing was I added one for the... Um, what was it? The... Um, I was originally going to actually use all of them, all this put all the structures into the site into the category. And I actually ended up doing that first and I tested it and then I wanted to make the the um the pillars like the actual shoots of the basalt a little bit more common, so I ended up breaking it up into a little bit more of a unique um two-part feature system so I could basically control the rarity of the um, the structures that we're generating. So the last two are the parts that are the um, pillar part and I ended up removing the this block right here which um, controls the how common they are and then I divided that by two I think. So I made all the structures basically a little bit less common and that I think I left as the base base settings for the original for the sphere and the lake, but I ended up um, basically making it times two for the regular pillars. So I ended up branching off this particular procedure, duplicating it, and I ended up going ahead and um, basically setting up that particular property. So after that, I needed to make sure that there was no errors. Uh, one of the things with the latest version of mCrater 2024.1 um, is you have to manually build it um, unless you delete the element and then it will automatically build. But a lot of the settings and stuff like that needs to be automatically built. Uh, I think when you go in game, it might build it. I haven't really paid too much attention to that part though, but um, it won't actually, like, if there's any changes or anything made to your mod, it will not automatically build anymore. Uh, this was to fix an issue, though I'm not entirely sure what the issue was. I can't remember what they said, but, um, yeah, just something to keep in mind. So basically what I was doing there was I was just making sure that the biome generates in the dimension, and then I needed to test to see how the biome looks. So there's a few things that I don't like about it and that's that lack of structures in the particular biome. It looks pretty barren. So I'm not too happy with that. The lake is a little bit floating um, one block above and the water cover is um, the default water cover for Minecraft. So there's a few things that I needed to actually fix and tweak a little bit. 
Uh, there's also a lot of caves generating, and I'm not sure if I can actually fix that by disabling caves in the biome or not. But um, we can give that a shot and disable the cave generation. Again, this is all through features, so I'm not sure how accurate that will be able to. We will be able to disable all that, but I don't really like the look how it kind of um, cuts through the surface and shows the stone. So we might try to disable that a little bit. But uh, some things like the lakes and stuff, we could probably end up uh, in the future adding um, the non-floating structure script. So that way, it will basically make sure that all the bottoms of the structures are on the ground and stuff like that and we might even be able to use uh, something that I've been experimenting with um, which is currently only in this particular mod um, for the um, block updates around the structure itself. Now that's going to take a little bit of time to figure out how I want to do it and what blocks. Might even need to add some extra additional blocks, maybe some magma or um, uh, maybe a liquid or something like that. I don't know, we'll have to come up with something, but um, just at the moment, I needed to go ahead and branch the structures out. So this is one of the things that I wanted to do. Uh, the lakes and stuff are fairly common. I don't, or, you know, like not that important, um, but I do want the pillars to um, generate a little bit more commonly. So like I described a little bit earlier, I just replaced the two blocks, deleted those, and basically went ahead and left that particular part for the part there. And then I removed or removed the top two, which are the sphere and the lake. And then I just placed the bottom two there. And now I needed to make this one a little bit more common. So I went ahead with the um, this particular block, which will allow me to duplicate the chance a little bit more commonly. And then the next thing I needed to do was basically try um, setting the particles. That's another thing that I didn't like so much was there was an, a, really a lot of particles showing. I wanted a little bit more ash falling from the sky. So it looks a little bit more better now. I, it's still pretty thin, but it's I don't want to like totally make it so it's like completely laggy or anything like that. So I wanted like ash falling because it kind of makes it more volcanic-y and kind of fits in with the biome and stuff. But um, it apparently even floats in caves, so that's apparently a thing. Which makes sense, I guess, because the, the nether is technically a large cave, isn't it? So, uh, But yeah, so that's basically that. Um, again, all the stone underneath here is going to be dimensions base stone I might be able to again split that off in the future um, but right now for development and everything like that I don't really want to lock any particular dimension code or anything like that especially when we have tons more biomes to add and um, yeah I mean it, it's it's better with all the pillars I think with the amount of pillars it's not too much but it's not li like thin like it was. Uh, the watercolor is still an issue though. So what I ended up doing was just using the uh, plains color biome for that particular part and I went ahead and disabled the caves. Now after I did this I didn't notice any particular major change to the cave system itself. So I'm not sure if there's really any difference for some of these settings if you were to enable or disable them. Um, I'll have to look into the actual structure code for the biome itself, but uh, there might be some settings and stuff I can actually adjust. Now, there was a long time ago um, the ability to disable these things, but I'm not sure how much influence they actually have over the actual dimension or not. But um, again, just some of the other things that I wanted to set up was rotation. Now, if I go ahead and set up the non-floating script, I can't use rotation unfortunately, but uh, I will have to rotate the structures manually and stuff like that. I also lowered the lakes a little bit uh, as well, so they're, they should be generating on the surface, but without the floating script, I mean, they're still going to be floating, so we're going to have to fix that later on, maybe next episode. But uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed with how the biome turned out. Uh, we'll probably add some different uh, decoration blocks 
um, that will generate on the surface and stuff like that mixed in with the other features. Um, maybe some uh, dead plants or something like that. That would be pretty cool to actually uh, generate on here. But um, if you have suggestions or find an issue with the mod, what you can do is you can go to the GitHub repository, go to the Issues tab, and then select a new issue. And you can suggest a idea or provide feedback for this the series and with this uh, particular form, or you can report a bug or an issue with the mod in this particular form. Uh, this will create a template for you to fill out and you can basically name it and do whatever you want with it for that part. Uh, the bug report requires a little bit more additional information about the forge, the build information, steps to reproduce the issue, and um, information uh, about the issue. And it's already labeled automatically for the uh, proper labels and stuff like that. So uh, this is the proper way to uh, suggest features and stuff. Uh, and I will definitely take all suggestions here into consideration for the series. Often I'm looking for new content and ideas, so if you have any suggestions, this is perfect uh, for suggesting them. Outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.